Hello, this is part 8 of the MeanJS tutorial. So we just finished writing our tests for the controller and now we're going to implement the methods to pass those tests. So we just finished writing our find method which just performs a query to retrieve all the posts using the HTTP GET. Um, this method was inherited from the resource service that we used, if you remember. So the resource service is very helpful in reducing the amount of work we have to do. So we're going to make our create function now. It's going to accept a parameter called is valid. This is just to check our the see if the input was valid. So if it's not valid, then we should return false. We'll also put an error message there in the future. But for now, we're just going to try to make our test pass. So what we want to do is create a new post using the post service. The title is going to be scope.title and these are our input fields that we've bound using ng-model and then all we're going to do is call.save And when we save, we want to reset the form fields. It's just an empty string. And here, we'll handle errors. So we'll leave that blank for now. And what we also have to do is make sure we redirect to the forum route. So we're going to have to import the location service. And all we have to do is call location.path and type in the URL route and that should be good so let's go ahead and see if our test will pass it looks like two of our tests have passed because we started with three failing now we only have one failing so we just need to implement the scope.delete function now. And this one accepts a post as the parameter. So we should check if our post is not null. And if it isn't then we can just call post dot remove and that will send the delete request to our server and all we have to do is loop through the post array if the current element is equal to our post then we will call the splice method on element i for one element to be removed and that should do it for our last test
So it looks like there was an error in our test assertion. It expected the wrong URL. So let's go ahead and check our test. So in the delete, delete test, our expect HTTP request. This is a regular expression, so we should not have put the quotes around it. And that should make our last test pass. And all of our tests have passed. So let's go ahead and finish wiring everything up to the front end. If we go back to our create view, we want to put in the ng submit here, our create function. And in the parameter, we will put valid, and this will automa automatically be set true or false depending on if our form fields meet the validation requirements. So in this case, post uh, title can't be empty. And in our back to our list view. Let's add a button to handle deletion for us. So we're just going to add a new button. We'll have it go to the right side. We'll just have it show on X. And we'll just use the bootstrap danger class to make it red. Now let's check out how the page looks. And it looks like there is a problem with our routing. So let's go back to our routes and config files. So for the abstract view, this should actually be slash form to tell us what the top level the route is and this should be template URL UI view and also our naming this actually matters we're supposed to use a dot there so we have to change these accordingly. So now let's check if our routes work. It looks like they're navigating to the correct route. So let's try to create a post. And it looks like we're still missing a few things. So actually in our list view, we don't actually call the find function to retrieve our initial set of posts. So in the top here, we're going to set ng init to call our find function to initialize our page with posts. Now we have our post that we just created. If we try to delete it, we won't do anything because we haven't set our button to call the delete function. So if we put an ng click delete with our current post in the parameter, we should now be able to delete our post. If we refresh it, it's gone for good. And also in our form create we didn't implement the 
error message display. So if we try to create an empty post because the title is required, it won't let us create it, but there's no helpful error message being displayed. What we can do now is implement the error messages. So if we go back to our form create view, we're going to put the show errors directive onto this form group. And this directive is included with the core module part of this boilerplate. You can check out the code to see how everything works. But basically all we need to do is create an ng messages div for our title. And in here we're just going to write our ng message to show our error. You can check out the Angular documentation to find out more about how ng messages works. We're just going to This title is required, and this shouldn't have an S there. And then on our controller, we have to call the broadcast function when we check that the input is not valid. We want to broadcast show errors, check validity. And we can set it to only broadcast to the post form. And this basically just sends this flag that the show errors directive in the core module will then use to show the ng messages. And there we can see our error now. One more error we should show is. Here in our controller, we're going to set that error to null. And here in our error response, we're going to set that to the server side response error. So just in case our form isn't able to catch everything. We can make a new div and to show only if there's an error. Show red text. And just create a span and the error message binded. So if we remove this required check on the form, we should get the server side error here instead. So just in case our form can't catch everything, this is like a backup error, error message, so that the user isn't completely confused. So with that, I think we will move on to end-to-end -end testing next time. So I'll see you in the next video.